What if I told you the real reason your blood pressure is high and it has nothing to do with salt and everything to do with something most doctors don't even test for? And I know that's a bold statement, but hear me out. For decades, we've been told, cut the salt, take the meds, and everything will be fine. But millions and millions of people worldwide are following this advice and their blood pressure still won't come down. Why? Because they're treating the symptom, not the root. You see, the real issue for most people isn't salt. It's insulin resistance. Let me explain. Every time you eat processed carbs or sugar, whether it's muffins, white bread, pasta, soda, or even that healthy granola bar, your sugar spikes and your pancreas sends out insulin to pull it back down. But when you do this repeatedly, day after day, year after year, your cells start ignoring insulin's signal. So now your body produces more and more insulin just to get the job done. That's insulin resistance. And it's a hidden epidemic. But here's the kicker. Insulin doesn't just regulate blood sugar. It affects your entire cardiovascular system. First, it tells your kidneys to hold on to sodium and water. And that increases your blood volume. The more fluid in the pipes means more pressure. Imagine taking a balloon and overfilling it with water. The more volume, the higher internal pressure. But it gets worse. High insulin also blocks nitric oxide. And what is nitric oxide? It's a natural compound our blood vessels release to help them relax and dilate. And without nitric oxide, your arteries stay tight. They stay stiff and constricted. So now only there's more fluid in the system, but the pipes themselves are narrower. That's a pressure bomb waiting to go off. And over time, this constant strain triggers inflammation in the lining of the arteries called the endothelium. And that leads to arterial stiffness, micro tears, and even plaque formation, especially when insulin is high because it dries up the small dense LDL particles and promotes triglyceride storage in the vessel walls. It's like taking a smooth, flexible garden hose, baking it in the sun until it becomes brittle or cracked or rigid. That's your vascular system on insulin resistance. Now here's where it gets really frustrating. Many physicians, with all respect to their training, are still focused on treating the number on the blood pressure cuff. And this common approach is your pressure is high. So what are we going to do about it? Of course we know what they're going to do about it. They're going to bring it down with medication. And while those drugs can help in emergencies, they don't fix the underlying root. They simply suppress the symptoms. We're pumping duct tape over the warning light without ever checking the engine. And this in no way is to discredit doctors. They're doing their job what they've been taught. But most medical training doesn't emphasize metabolic drivers like insulin resistance when it comes to hypertension. And yet, study after study now confirms that link. And most people with high blood pressure also have, to some degree, always high insulin levels. And they don't even know it. So here's the question. Are we really facing a salt problem or are we looking at a deeper metabolic imbalance that no one is talking about? Let's make this personal. How many times a day do you snack? How many refined carbs are in your diet? Are you eating late at night? Each of those spikes insulin and that keeps it elevated. And when insulin stays high, your blood pressure stays high as well. But there's hope and it's powerful. When you begin to reverse insulin resistance, the body responds quickly. The kidneys start releasing excessive sodium. Nitric oxide production goes up. Arteries relax. Inflammation drops. And the blood pressure you were told would never improve. It starts coming down. Naturally, no side effects. No long list of medications. Just the body doing what it's designed to do once the interference is removed. So what can you do right now? Start by cutting those processed sugars and refined carbs. Focus on clean proteins, healthy fats, 
magnesium, and potassium-rich vegetables, and stay hydrated. Even light exercise, like walking 15, 20 minutes a day, it increases insulin sensitivity dramatically. Practice deep breathing. Improve your sleep, because sleep deprivation alone raises insulin and blood pressure. And consider compressing your eating window, possibly doing some intermittent fasting periodically. It's a metabolic reset that every hour you're not spiking insulin, it's an hour your arteries are getting to rest. Think of it like turning off the pressure valve so the pipes can heal. I want you to visualize this. Your arteries are like highways. Insulin resistance turns those smooth, open highways into congested roads full of potholes, narrowed lanes, and traffic jams. But when you repair the signaling through food, movement, and restoration, traffic flows again, pressure drops, energy returns, and healing begins. So the next time someone tells you your blood pressure is just a salt issue, pause. Because the truth is, high blood pressure is often your body's cry for metabolic balance. And it's not your fault if you don't know this. No one told you. But now you know the facts. You have the power to change it. You're not broken. You're just biologically responding to the signals that your body's been giving you over this long period of time. And it's time to change the message. Fix the insulin and the pressure takes care of itself. Don't just chase the symptoms, heal the symptoms. And please, if all possible, share this with those who need to hear this message. Because this message could be the wake up call that they've been waiting for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.